Hey everyone, Luna3 here, gonna play some Houndoom. I wanna, I wanna see how a mill deck will do in this Kermit format. So let me just show you the build I got. Um, I got one Bunnelby, two Radita, two Shaman. Shaman, I, I'm iffy on whether or not he's good in this deck because he just ends up on the bench and he's just a target to get killed. Uh, anyway, three Houndoom, it's primary mill mill card. I honestly want to add another Bunnelby. Probably cut Eradicate for it, but uh, we'll test that later. I also don't have two Bunnelby. <laughs> uh, hammers, both Hammers, just remove energy. Max Potion, keep my Houndooms alive. Level Ball to be able to get one of these basics onto the bench if I need to. Uh, less likely Shaman. Puzzle, time to get Hammers out of the yard. Switch to switch. Uh, everything else is pretty straightforward. Delinquent, Silent Lab to lock them out. Ace Trainer in case they get that knockout. I'm going to be a little bit ahead. Just easier to keep them down on hand size. Um, I feel it's pretty straightforward from there. Uh, Flare Grunt, Skull Grunt is uh, something from the new set that I'm testing out. And then it's 8 Fire Energy. You know, pretty, pretty simple deck. Straightforward. So let's go into versus. See see if we could get some wins with this nonsense. <clears throat> I apparently have the advantage. <laughs> One thing I've realized is this deck is highly inconsistent on the Pokemon you're going to get in the first hand. And you mulligan quite a bit. But I don't think that's going to be a terrible issue. And I hate starting Radita. Okay, and we're playing Frogadier. Or uh, Greninja. So I may actually have the advantage because Greninja sometimes... Actually... This is probably a real bad matchup for me if I don't get good, like, like control hands. Because they're just able to just end up with so much. And I give them the extra turns they need to set up. And Pokemon doesn't have any cards. They're like, yeah, just throw all this one copy of a card into the discard pile. Man, that card would be so good. Like, maybe if they ever brought Ace Trainers back. It'd be a pretty sweet Ace Trainer. What is that, three mulligans? Oh. Okay, we got our first win, guys. Like, it's just four mulligans. That's as a Greninja player, also. Like, that's not even uncomebackable. Like, you can come back from that easy. But okay. No, I dropped my iPad. Okay, I would like to go first. You're opening hand, nope. Like I said, inconsistent, but it's fine. Done. And we got Radita. <laughs> when you have as many, almost as many Radita as Houndooms, like I guess you can't be too upset. Like it's to be expected, I guess. But it doesn't feel good. It's not the feel good in any way.
Okay. So we don't got crap for our first ten. So we're just gonna throw that away right away. Okay. We can nest ball. Let's see what we got. Okay, we got all three of our hound dooms. We still got a second shaman in the deck. Um, no prizes. I think an N is prized. A silent lab is prized. Um, switch? I don't see switch. Yeah, so we got a few cards that, like, nothing crazy is prized. We should be okay. Let's just play this. Um, we're gonna grab silent lab. I think I'm going to shame him for two. Okay, so I got my... We're going to Silent Lab and just attach an energy. Silent Lab, arguably not the best card for me. But as I'm the one who's playing it, I feel like it gives me some opportunity. Like with, like, I don't know. Arguably, I wouldn't want to be playing the Rattata, but again, I have no Bundlebees. Uh, and that's all I'm doing for this turn. That switch in my prize might be a little detrimental, because Rattata will eventually just have to die. But that's fine, that'll activate Ace Trainers. So, I'm okay with this. Bursting Balloon is fine. Not gonna hit you, bro. What does Encounter do? Search your deck for a Pokemon, reveal it, put it in your hand. He grabbed the Farfetch'd? No idea what this guy is doing. Okay. So that could be... In. Like, I'm not gonna attack him this turn anyway, but... I think I'm gonna try to yank some energy out of his hand. Perfect. He also has Farfetch'd. What does Farfetch do? Can't. Like, I think he's just also playing a bad deck. Um. Mm, like, do I care? I don't really care what Pokemon he grabs out the deck. I'm gonna just pass. Like, Encounter's not hurting me in any way. Leaks. That just doesn't seem good. Three energy to use an attack? Is I'm and wondering if there's a Pokemon that you does damage based off how many colorless you have on the bench. Okay, so Spinda definitely does some damage, so let's yank, nope, let's try it again, nope, okay, huh, let's Lysander, who's hard to move out of his active, retreat cost to one, like, Farfetch'd ain't doing nothing to me. Let's pull out Farfetch'd. 28 cards left in the deck, and we have not really started to mill, and I'm down to one card. Okay. Okay, so I can Ace Trainer now. He'll go down to three cards. I like this play. Hands Hammer is not doing anything for me. I think I'm a puzzle of time just to kind of figure out what I'm drawing. 
put Ace Trainer on top. And just Melting Horn. Get rid of two cards. Let's start milling these cards away. Um, let's see. Enhanced Hammers will be good if he has to play what's it called. Put him back on three. Mm. Well, let's put some energy on him just in case. Um. That was weird. Uh, do I go for the attack? Yeah, I feel like I need to. Damn. Oh well. So we're gonna get hit for 40 again. Oh. I need to draw one of my max potions like it's nobody business. There we go. Um. I don't know if discarding everything in his hands even beneficial at the moment. Um. I could grab another age. Hold on, let's play this. Put this, this, and this into the deck. Let's go for Ace Trainer, because I don't think um, playing Delinquent to just put him on zero cards is beneficial for me at the moment. But I don't necessarily want to get rid of it, either. Okay, so that's good. I got a Houndoom. Let's play Trainer's Mail real quick. Well, I guess Delinquent's coming back to the hand, and we'll assess this again next turn. Um... <clears throat> I'm gonna attach energy, play a second puzzle of time. So yeah, I could delinquent next turn, he'll have four cards roughly in hand. Okay, let's see if we don't damn it. I would have never guessed Spindle would have been the the hard counter. It's confusing my Pokemon. I'm just kidding. That's obviously not a hard counter. <laughs> just making jokes. Uh, okay. Let's get rid of that. We're just going to delinquent now. Put him on zero cards. Put him in full top deck mode. Damn it. Oh well. We arguably could just sit here and not try to take the damage now that he's top decking. But. Mm, we're just gonna sick him more. Not the best sick him more hand. Anything at the discard other than supporters are trying to grab? No. I think we could just puzzle the time to see what we're drawn into. We're gonna put that on top, that second, that third, because we're just gonna. Shuffle it up anyway. Oh no, we draw two. 
drawing oh that one's a good one oh is or actually let's take max potion right now like I can't attach energy but whatever it's fine biggest downside of this deck whatever is prized is just you and you never draw it so it's gonna it kind of hurt you but whatever Oh, cool. I got the win. <laughs> Dad burned through all his energies? Um, okay, whatever. He either didn't want to wait, and I thought he was going to deck out. I'll take it. Oh man, Bunnelby. No draw support. Oh sweet, but we get to... Hand tells me nothing except he's playing special energies. He's probably playing Mewtwo. The... The... With Mewtwo X, I think it is. Yes. Nope, piss him in. Tag this pen more. Huh. Not sure how this deck matches up. I know that weakness is gonna suck. Okay, so we got that going. Gonna place this energy. Can't really do much. I literally, I have nothing in this hand. So we're gonna have to set that on the top just cause. Like we're drawing both these. Um, yeah, like my hand does nothing. Let's burrow. Let's burrow again. Actually. I could shuffle my enhanced hammer in the deck, which might be useful. Let's do that. Yeah, I really need some more bundle bees in this deck. I'd rather run like a three, 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 two line, three bundle bee, three houndoom, two shaman, than the four eradicate, and then add a few more control cards. So he's gonna hit me for eighty right now, so I lose. Like I just outright lose right now. Because team play does 30 damage. Oh, 30 more damage. So if he can't hit a Pissimi and I just take four. Oh, no. Yeah, it will still knock out. Good game, y'all. Good game. That's just... that's Sometimes you get donked. What can you say? Volcanian? Maybe? Water, fire, colorless, and psychic type. Okay, I got two Houndoom starts, got some draw, got Silent Lab. I'm, I'm digging this hand. <clears throat> Depending on what's in the prizes, we might be in for a good game. Uh, what was I looking for? This one. I have another additional, correct. Charizard. Um, 
benefit from each Charizard requires a lot of energies, but no idea what else this deck does. Okay. It probably evolved into Mega Charizard. Also requires a lot of energy, so... May work out in my favor. Especially since he's going to be throwing a lot of energies away to Volcanion. So I'm okay with this. Let's see. Let's see if we can eke out this win. Cause I don't think he knows I'm a mill yet. He's just trying to set up. Well, let's play this. Show plan. He has no. He might not have any special energy, so Team Scroll Grunt might be the better grab. Let's play second one. Grab a Fighting Fury Belt for sure. Going to attach. Um, let's throw it on Silent Lab because that's going to turn off Volcanians. And I kind of want the draw support, but let's do deal with that next turn and just see if we can grab two. Nope, just one energy. He might end so he can get some energy next turn for sure. Um, okay. I'm okay with this. So I'm not going to end up attacking, but that'll be fine. Because I'm pretty sure he's going to end. His deck's going to start filtering. So I'm okay with that as well. Okay. I think Gumshoe might be worth testing out in this deck as well, because I think you get to... Oh no, Gumshoe has to evolve. Never mind. Rattata would be better than Gumshoe, because Rattata evolves in Raikei, who removes energies. Whereas Gumshoe just kind of gives you information. Oh no. Okay, not the worst. Mm, we're still just gonna Sycamore. I was thinking of Flare Grunting, but that just slows us down a little too much. Bench, Crushing Hammer. Damn it. Um, I can Max Potion, give myself another turn with this. Um, or do I just want to throw two cards? I have two on the bench still. I think I can, I think I'm okay. I'm going to just Smelting Horn. Gives, activates Ace Trainer as well if I draw into it. So, I'm okay losing the one Houndoom. Like, follow-up turn, I'm probably going to Lysander up the, uh, Hoopa can be Floatstone. Probably going to Lysander up this other Charizard. Nah, Volcanium. Volcanium is harder to get out of the active. Let's see, so I drew Ace Trainer. Um, so let's Lysander up this. Cause it's got no energy. It's gonna have to sit there. Play this. And then we're gonna Melting Horn. I would have really enjoyed playing Delinquent that turn, but I could not uh, get hit for. I guess I could got hit for 60. I forgot you can't use the What's It Called this turn. Let's see. What's in his. He has an escape token to discard. Damn it. Should have gone for Charizard. <laughs> what does that do? Five. Oof. I've never seen that card before.
Like if he, he's still just getting hit for 60 though, so it's not the worst. Then I can play Max Potion. Oh, he delinquented me. <laughs> um, let's. I'm gonna need to draw power. Sam and I are going to ground. Max was inside the house. We're going to ground. Okay. I kept wondering why it said damage increase, but it's because of the what's called. Stupid. Okay. Trainers now. Mm. Hence, camera hasn't done much for me. Puzzle time. I don't want to draw the radica. Um. Hmm. So I'm going to switch because next turn Houndoom is going to get knocked out. So let's just melting horn. He's real low on on cards in the deck, so I could probably get lucky if I could somehow get one of these on the bench, pro like Charizard or I think Char. If I could get Char, <sighs> is that a good play? Next turn to just versus Seeker Lysander. Lysander, grab that off the off the bench, and then just hope for the best. Um, I think that's arguably the only play I got. Because I can't ace trainer right now. I don't think he's got anything worthwhile in hand. Like, if he can just switch out his Pokemon, then it's, it don't matter anyway. Um, I can remove that tool. So we're just going to grab Volcanion because a DC, a DC allows him to retreat. So we're going to play that onto the bench, remove this from the active, and then Melting Horn. I feel that's the best play at the moment. 10 cards. Um... Let's see if he can get out the active. Because he now has two Charizard set up on that bench. I think he's thinking hard about what to do right now. So next turn on my Ace Trainer, it's going to put two cards back into his deck. So I'm kind of hoping he plays something, but I'm hoping he just, like, attaches an energy somewhere. Okay, that's an interesting play. So he must be able to be able to get out the active. I don't see another, I don't see a reason to steam up at the moment. Okay. So if he, he has to have a switch in the deck, why else would you go to, see just conceding it? Like, well, I guess we'll just wait and see. Can you get it out the active? Okay, Super Rod's not a bad play. What is he digging for? Huh. 
Huh. So let's evolve Raticate. Um, do I just I think I want Puzzle of Time in the deck so I can possibly draw two of them. So we're gonna put them on three cards in hand, four cards in the deck. see crushing hammer let's remove one from here it's not gonna matter if he can retreat he's he can retreat um super rod doesn't do much for me but we're gonna play it anyway uh energy houndoom houndoom sure And then I, like, I don't, like, I, he felt, he had to have filtered through everything in the deck at that point. Um, we're going to Melting Horn for two. He, ah, I got it. <laughs> I think I got the one card he needed. I didn't get to see what it was, but I think I got the one card he needed. I think it, oh, it was the escape rope. I got the, the escape rope. <laughs> Oh, that was exciting. I didn't think I had that one. I, I didn't know what the heck he was digging for. It was an escape rope. Oh, that was lucky. To think if he had just a Rongarud, he would have got it. Oh. Whew. That luck. I'm okay with this. This deck has to rely on a lot of luck. I'm, I'm almost positive of it, so... I'm okay with this. Whew. Let's see if we can jam one more game in. Yes, I would like to go first. Uh, bad hand. But we can, we don't got play shaman, so we're good. <laughs> Almost played the silent lap. Um, I'll attach the energy. Puzzle of time, see if it's worse. Okay, so let's do that. So I could Shaman for two. I'm going to draw the Nest Ball and the Trainer's Mail. It's Nest Ball into a Houndoom. Let's see what we hit on Trainer's Team Flare Granite. It doesn't matter. This is going to get end back into the deck. Fire type with Talent Flame is Typhlosion, which I think just throws cards into the graveyard, so that's fine by me. We're going to play Silent Lab, and then we're just going to end. Okay, that's okay. He can't do anything. I can retreat it. Um, no, nah, because if he knocks it out, I can start Ace Trainer, and it's not a big deal. Shouldn't attach the energy, but one extra, one more card for Shaman. I think next, for future, I should have puzzled a time first to see what we would have drawn off Shaman, and then proceeded from there. Phone call. Hello. Hey. Okay. Yeah. Bye. Okay. Um. 
Okay, so we're just obviously going to promote this. So Shaman's useless, but I have so many cards in hand, I don't think I'd even get to use it anyway. So he definitely got to draw two cards. I'm assuming he played a basic or something like that. Is this hand worth keeping? Let's super rod these two cards back into the deck. Like, they're not doing much for me, but I think I'm going to stick more of this hand away to try and get some more control pieces. Because I have, I have Houndoom in the active, but I usually don't need to switch him out. Crutching Hammer seems okay. Yeah, that's just Crutching Hammer. Okay, so he has no energy on him. Let's attach. And I think that looks good. We're going Melting Horn. And we hit a Typhlosion. I'm okay with this. We're just gonna crushing hammer. Didn't work. Um, he got a lot of cards in hand. I think we're just gonna put you on three cards, bro. He has no tools, so eradicate might not be the best play at the moment. Man, I'm getting all the phone calls. Hello. Nope. All right, what did we hit this time? More energy. I, f I think his deck is mostly energy, so <laughs> I think that's to be expected. Um, so he's getting a little closer to that, that Typhlosion. Let's see, Evo Soda. I gotta start hitting more of them Typhlosions on the... Is it worth just saving the Flare Grunts for... For like, Typhlo... What does Typhlosion just say? Massive Rook, discard the top. Okay, so yeah, it is just one energy. So, I think I'm going to save the Flare Grunt for that. Just set them more on the bench. I'm going to play Rattata down because I don't think he has any of those. This deck is mostly going to be energy. And I don't need a Sycamore. I'm going to hold on to that Flare Grunt. Mm, no, I'm not. Because he has, he has to have that in his hand, so he's just gonna move it. So next turn, I'm gonna just gonna want to, yeah. A lot of energy. Yep, for sure has that. Gonna retreat, attack. Pretty sure he's gonna get that knockout. Oh, Wally. Ah. So, uh. This one's going to be a hard one to win, now that I think about it. He's going to start milling himself a bit, but I'm going to end up taking a lot of damage. 
I think I have to. Okay. Oh, wrong button. Hmm. Grab crushing hammer. I gotta just start removing energy from him. Nope. Punch from a discard pile in your hands. Yes. We're just gonna take crushing hammers at this point. All of him. Then we're just gonna heal up our Hound Doom. And. Play a Versus Seeker. Ace Trainer will give him more cards in hand. So we're just gonna pass. He's gonna most likely draw that energy he needs. Yep. Damn. It's gonna be an interesting game. But it's okay, because I can crunch. Knock that energy off. He'll go to three cards in hand, which I'll almost guarantee. But he probably has one already, and I get a fresh six. Like, I have to play this like I know he has energies, because he's played 12 in that deck. It's like, it's all energies. It's all energies. Play Radica down, see if we can get that other Radica up. Um, Silent Round doesn't help. Crunch. If he doesn't have an energy, I'll be so surprised. So Raticate's gonna get knocked out. Whew. That's okay, he threw a lot of energy away to knock out one Raticate. 16 cards in the deck. Let's attach. Ace trainer for Ace trainer him down. It's crushing hammer with evolve. If I can make yeah, I'll make it through this turn. I can grab a Cyndaquil, and that Cyndaquil might be stuck there. Um. No, nope, I want I want versus seeker. Okay. <clears throat> so let's crunch. Like I'll probably get knocked out. He'll go down to eleven cards in deck. Oh man, this is a tough one. This cool lava harder to no. It's gonna come close. Let's hit eighteen, nineteen, twenty. How many energies does he probably play? Oh, that's a tough one. Yeah, got a Lysander. Lysander up Cyndaquil. Play Verse Seeker. Gonna. I shouldn't have played the Verse Seeker on this turn. That was dumb. Um. Mm, let's see. What do I want to play next turn? Next turn, I'm probably gonna want to play Flare Grunt. Show play, man. How many cards do I got in my deck? Ten cards. Yeah, I think I'm gonna want to play Flare Grunt just. Just in case. In case he can't get this out the active. 
Or I survive more so. Six cards in the deck. I might be off by like one turn. Does he have the energy to retreat? Yes, he does. Oh, but I survived. Oh, I won. I won. I, I, I felt like I should have won this matchup anyway. But, yeah. Okay, guys. That was fun. I had a lot of fun. We won like three... Did we lose one? Hold on. Hold on. Did we lose any of those games? Deck manager. Like, we had to have lost one of those. Yeah, we lost one of those. Whatever. That was fun. We beat Volcanian, some, and then a bunch of jank. Alright, I'll see y'all next time. Have fun.